Hello, and we've reached the part of the podcast where we talk about NASCAR and the man that's absolutely on fire. He's picked five out of six winners to close the season at Boston Boy 83. Brandon, how are you doing today, my man? I'm hoping to go six for seven for sure. Close it out on a positive. So before we before we start, I just need to vent. Just need to vent on something. You have Kyle Larson saying what Ross Chastain did was bad for the sport. So my thing is this. A, you did the same thing a couple years ago. B, saying something racist during a middle of a live stream is bad for the sport too, buddy. So you know what? I think what you did is a little worse and you're a racist. I don't like you. So you know what? You can F off, Mr. Kyle. He's, he, he's dead to me. Like, he's just, he's more mad that somebody pulled it off when he didn't. So I think you will see a rule change come in sometime next year that you just can't sling your car into a wall for a lap. But I love there's it. no rule right now, so you might as well do it. I Go love it. So we're going to Phoenix. Um, you know, we each have a there. We each have a couple plays we're looking to lock in. Um, yeah, I will. I'll start with you, my friend. We know where I'm going with this. It's obvious. Anybody that watches the show, I'm going Chase Elliott plus two forty. I don't like it when it's ever that low, but he's so good at Phoenix. We watched him start dead last to win a championship at Phoenix. His average finish right now is between like nine and eleven, and uh, I like him. So that's where I'm going to start there. Good old number you know man. What? You know Brandon where I'm Bell, going. Bell, I will drive to Dawsonville my- if this happens. I'm going to my old man Harvick. You know, seven races here. Average finish six point one. I know he's only led um, three point one percent of the laps, but when I'm seeing this guy in one book at twenty five to one, when you have the highest average finish, I absolutely positively i have to take that so i am taking kevin harvick 25 to 1. i like it so i'm gonna go back down to the favorites and i'm gonna grab mr ross chastain at four to one what we saw last week and the way he just sent it just to get into the championship tells me when he gets behind the wheel if he has any opportunity in the closing laps to make a move he is the only driver on the entire track that's going to be able to make a move like that so, Mr. Wall ride him himself, Chastain at four to one. I like it. I like it. Um, Don't take my next one. I'm not going to take the next one. All right. I'm I do like your Harvick pick, though. I do. Um, Best average my, finish, but go ahead. My next one. I don't know what my next my, – oh, I'm sorry. My next one, I'm just going to Austin Dillon top ten. He's been riding okay. good at the season. He's at three to one. I think there's some value there. Um, I know historically he really hasn't done well at this track. Last race of the season, I think he does well. Um, I did want to ask you though. There was quick news. There was some news that popped this afternoon. And that's what we should have landed. My bad for being a shitty host, everybody. Uh, Mr. Jimmy Johnson. Johnson coming back to the game. Going to write run in five races. How does this affect Eric Jones? I don't think it affects Eric. He's going into a partnership with GSM and Petty, Jimmy Johnson himself. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see another car added just for those races. You can't take somebody that is competing for a championship and remove him out of a car or remove somebody just for Jimmy to fill in for some prestige races. So I think you're going to see it a third or fourth, however many they have going in the next year, an extra car added for those races for Jimmy to race. I think it will help Eric. It will help Noah coming out of Xfinity, having a veteran like Jimmy present at the shop, in the meetings, at the tracks. So I think it's going to be a huge boost for the whole Petty GMS squad in general. Uh, Where is your next one? Martin Truex Jr. closes it out. After a rough season, not getting into the playoffs or getting knocked out by a point, whatever it was right there at the end, Mr. Martin Truex at plus 30 to one. I'm seeing him 50 to one at one book. Perfect. 30 to one, 50 to one. You grab him before qualifying. So when this gets released, if you guys don't touch him before qualifying, and we're celebrating on Sunday with Martin Truex and Victory Lane and Chase Elliott holding up a championship banner. Not gonna be too happy. Um, 
my next one, I'm just going to a head to head. I'm taking Logano at plus plus one ten to finish ahead of Bell. I like that. Logano, like- Logano you know, one win here, average finish of six point three. Bell historically has struggled at this track. I'm getting plus money on Logano. I'll take Logano plus one ten. Plus, I know we know he's going to be racing to win it, so I absolutely love that. I'm I'm fading Bell. I just I he's won a couple of elimination races to get where he is, but I just think he's so young. You've got Logano, a veteran, won it before. Chase, a veteran, won it before. Chastain, who literally has the biggest balls in the entire sport, and then you have this young kid Bell in a championship race. So I'm fading him. I'd, I'd love to see him win. It'd be huge for him, the sport, everybody involved. But mm-hmm. I just I don't think he's going to get the backing he needs by his teammates because Kyle Busch doesn't care. Denny yeah. Hamlin's butt hurt. So yeah. you look at that compared to what you're going to see Logano get with Blaney and Keselowski, or not Keselowski, but Blaney. And then you look at what Chase is going to get between Larson, Bowman, Byron. Like You're going to have a lot of team support. I don't see Bell getting that. Yeah, I, I agree 100. Yeah, that's why I love it so much. Um, anything else you're looking to lock in? Because I got my three. I'm good. I'm locked in. The way I want to close this out is the Boston Bruins are 10 and 1, top of the NHL right now. I said that. Yeah. I had to what month is that it? Little seed. It doesn't matter what month it is. It doesn't. Don't do that to uh, me. So you're mad at your Red Wings. Don't take it out on me. Go to your therapist about it. Hey, buddy. We, you got Elliot plus 250. Uh, Justine plus Justine plus four. Justine plus 40 to one. And no, we saw Chast- Chast- Ross Justine at four, four to one. Four to one. And, and Truex 50 to one? 30 to one. And then 30. 50 to one year book. Um, I have Logano over Bell at plus 110. Dylan, top 10 plus 300. And Harvick 25 to one. Brandon, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your schedule, coming here every single week to break down NASCAR. It's going to be weird not talking to you next week, my friend. Why don't you tell everyone where they can find you on the social media? Boston Boy 83, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Dude, let's let's make some money. Let's cash some tickets. Six for seven and end on a high note, folks. God, I was going to say talk to you next week, but I can't say that. Well, if you'd include <laughs> me in other sports, then uh... – we might be able to figure something out. We'll we'll figure something out. Do some hockey stuff. Uh, we'll talk soon, my friend. All right.